Hello, we're live at the Frankfurt International Motor Show, where today we celebrate the arrival of a vehicle that the world has been waiting for. Frankfurt is one of the most important events in the automotive calendar. Land Rover's global CEO, Sir Ralph Spate, will soon take centre stage to start the unveiling, and he'll be joined by Chief Design Officer Professor Jerry McGovern to introduce us all to the brand new Land Rover Defender. And I'm sure, like me, you can't wait to see what's under here. It promises to be a moment of high drama, and you'll be some of the first people in the world to see this car. So we want you to be a part of this special moment. Please send us your comments and your reactions using the hashtag NewDefender. We look forward to hearing from you. After the new Defender has been revealed, we'll speak to product marketing chief Finbar McFall, and we'll also speak to the engineering guru Nick Collins, who's in charge of the team who have reimagined this icon. Now, you won't be surprised to hear that this new Defender has a go-anywhere, do-anything attitude, which we'll learn more about over the next half hour. But for now, let's take a quick look at a slightly camouflaged new Defender as it was put to the test in some of the world's most extreme environments. To the darkness, a lot of eager eyes peering out of the darkness here uh, on the impressive Land Rover stand in Frankfurt, waiting, eager to... Uh, cast a glance across this brand new Defender in the flesh. So everybody here in Frankfurt, as you can imagine, is very excited. And I know that all of you around the world are waiting in anticipation as well. Your messages are coming in thick and fast. Uh, you can reach us at Land Rover and don't forget to use the hashtag new Defender. John Bennett says, can't wait to see what I ordered 12 months ago. Well, John, I don't know how you managed to put an order in, <laughs> but uh, good luck to you. Um, Johnny Stage says, I cannot wait for the launch. Well, it's here, Johnny, and also to put one through its paces in the Scottish Highlands. What better place to test out uh, the new Defender than in the Scottish Highlands? And finally... Uh, Andrea Downing says, oh man, such a tease. Really can't wait for this big reveal. So of course, this iconic car is much loved the world over. It is known to be the toughest utility vehicle in the world, the most, the most unstoppable, incomparable. It looks tough, it is tough, and uh, there are many, many surprises waiting for people here today. The different packs that are available for the new Defender, the different looks, the shapes, the colors. Really, this is a momentous moment, and I can tell you the engineers are as excited as everybody else here in Frankfurt. This is a labor of love, six years in the making. Ladies and gentlemen, Land Rover. Land Rover is an iconic brand going above and beyond for over 70 years. Today, Land Rover encompasses two distinct vehicle families. The Range Rover, the vehicle that invented the non-compromised luxury SUV segment, the unique Paragon, and the discovery, focused on functionality, versatility, and practicality for families, outdoor activities, and long journeys. But, ladies and gentlemen, aren't we all missing something? The workhorse, honest and classless, no fashion, no gimmicks. A vehicle relied on in extremes and emergencies by police, by doctors and soldiers. A passport to outdoor adventures, creating freedom for the driver and the passenger. Now, how do you redefine such an icon? And so I can say from day one, this challenging project has been driven by respect for the original and the same pioneering spirit and passion that drove the Wilkes brothers 
70 years ago. And the new defender captured its very essence. Instantly recognizable, all terrain capability beyond question, the real deal. And the new defender excites in every aspect. It raises the threshold for on-road performance and dynamics, delivering a greater breadth of ability and comfort of the limits of physics. And the new Defender is highly efficient, offering the stiffest lightweight aluminium monocoque, responsible upcycled materials, electrified powertrains, powerful four- and six-cylinder, highly efficient ingenium diesel and petrol engines, as well as MF versions from day one. The new Defender also introduces a brand new dual banking electronic architecture with ultra-wide band technology for unrivaled security, enhanced by the latest software over the year, an all-new feature-rich infotainment system called PV Pro, UHP security, and 5G ready and cloud-driven features. Our new Defender is not just one vehicle. It never was. Our new Defender is a family too. Ladies and gentlemen, it's in our DNA. It is our clearly defined corporate purpose to provide exciting products and experiences for uh, people which people love for life. And we offer the compelling combination of safe, reliable vehicle with high product substance and best, best British design. Ladies and gentlemen, four years ago, I had to make the difficult decision to stop the production of the old, iconic Defender. Today, today is a very special day for all of us at Land Rover, for the fans, for me. Today, I give you back the new Defender, the best ever. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Jerry McGovern, Chief Design Officer, Land Rover. The day has finally come. Ladies and gentlemen, today we introduce the new Defender family to join our highly refined Range Rover and supremely versatile Discovery families. Since its launch in 1948, the series Land Rover and Defender models have built an undisputed reputation for their ability to conquer the most arduous terrains. This much-loved vehicle has captured the hearts and minds of people throughout the world in the process achieving iconic status. Now, the time has come for a new Defender. The challenge for our designers and engineers was to create a vehicle relevant for the demands of today's world while capturing the essence of the originals. The new Defender is respectful of its past, but it isn't harnessed by it. A compelling vehicle that has design and engineering integrity at its very core. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honour for me to reveal the new Defender family.
So this is the new Defender 90. It measures just over 4.3 meters and it is the toughest, most capable Land Rover ever. Its silhouette is unmistakable. It's a modern interpretation of the originals. Its proportions have been optimized to achieve a well-balanced design and with its short overhangs and high sill, deliver supreme all-terrain capability. Its lines have a horizontal emphasis, horizontal lower roof line, waistline, shoulders, which are contrasted by the sheer verticality of the rear and the upright front. This is done to give it a purposeful stance. That horizontal emphasis continues with the squared off wheel arches. And this distinctive floating pillar, which is positioned over the rear wheel to reinforce that planted look. Moving to the front, the new Defender has a characterful face. It communicates confidence and strength, which is characterized by the reductive grille and bumper design and the simple geometric forms of these highly technical lamps. For the first time ever on a Land Rover Defender, we have an inset bonnet, which has given us the opportunity to create these beautifully sculpted fenders, which run onto the door section and run the vehicle's length, which in turn emphasizes the clean, unadorned body side surface. Moving to the rear, the sheer verticality is very prominent, and that is quite deliberate to absolutely minimize that rear overhang, combined with this very hard corner, which is good for aerodynamics, but also, also emphasizes the vehicle's strong shoulder section. The rear lamps simple geometric forms to harmonize with the front, but to reinforce the fact that this vehicle is an honest, no-nonsense design. And of course, this is a Land Rover Defender, so the spare wheel is externally mounted on a sized hinged door to protect that all-important minimal overhang. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are the new Defender 110s. Now, the 110 is a five-door. Its overall length is approximately 4.7 meters. And that increase in length has been put into the wheelbase to accommodate the extra doors. Now, with that increase in length, it still means it's very well-balanced proportion, like the 90. We also kept the overhangs minimal, those all important overhangs. Now in most of the respects, the 90 and the 110 are the same design. These vehicles come with three different roof options. There is a solid metal roof, a full-size panoramic roof, and a full-size retractable fabric roof. Now, every element of the exterior design of these vehicles has been really carefully considered, from its sophisticated surfaces to the almost elemental nature of the detailing, all to reinforce the unique DNA of the new Defenders. And the interiors are equally as compelling. Defender's highly functional interior is underpinned by its practical and reductive design. 
This approach is evident by the visible magnesium beam, which runs the full width of the interior. This structural beam features several integrated grab handles to aid entry and for a secure grip when the vehicle is performing serious all-terrain driving. The screen and main controls are ergonomically clustered to provide for a centre seat, which is an option unique to Defender. The paired back design is consistent throughout with visible door fixings that retain the structural casings. Practicality continues with durable rubberized flooring together with flush door sills to provide genuine mop or brush clean functionality. Modern, durable materials and finishes are cutting edge, developed for comfort and to reinforce a clean, reductive and functional interior. An interior that is unique and key to the new Defender's overall desirability. I love that uh, centre seat option. I think that's going to be a favourite with, with teenagers and certainly large dogs. So the 90 is available as a five seat and also a six seat. The 110 is ava available as a five seat, a six seat, or a five plus two with the third row. Now there'll be various uh, uh, versions at launch. These two vehicles here are called the first edition. And this one here is the Defender X. Now you'll notice all three of these vehicles are presented in a, a satin finish. That was always the intent because it communicates the solidity and the no-nonsense approach of this vehicle design. It is in fact a protective wrap which is highly durable. Now we've also developed four design packs to offer customers more choice and to cater for different lifestyle opportunities. And these design packs really do demonstrate the ability of the new Defender to change its personality with that while still retaining its design and engineering integrity. So, here we have two of those design packs. This version here is the Adventure Pack, and it's presented here with the Red Cross livery. This year marks a 65-year partnership between the Red Cross and Land Rover, and the new Defender will play its role in, the, in supporting the Red Cross in its humanitarian activities. Over here, we have the Explorer Pack. And together with the adventure, the urban, and the country, they represent the biggest collection of accessories we've ever created for a Land Rover product. And more importantly, they've all been designed and engineered in parallel with the core vehicle to ensure design and engineering integrity and Land Rover authenticity. Now, there, always, there has always been commercial derivatives of the Defender right from the very beginning, those commercial derivatives were there. And that tradition will continue. Wow. I love this. This is a real workhorse. So this is the commercial derivative of, of the 90 and a handsome thing it is too with its white roof and white steel wheels. Yes, I said it as a designer, 
steel wheels. They look fabulous on, on this car. And there will be a 110 version of the commercial too. And I think what the commercial versions do is really talk to that, that workhorse type of approach that these vehicles have, highly functional. So, ladies and gentlemen, the new Defender family created for the 21st century with state-of-the-art technologies, plug-in hybrid electric powertrains and over-the-air software updates. These new Defenders are as connected as they are capable and fitting successors to the pioneering originals. The order books are now open for the Defender 110. The 90 and other derivatives will follow. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to say that at last, the Land Rover family is now complete. Thank you.